Hey, welcome to Fresh Produce. I'm Pete from BTI. You know, today in our weird world of social distancing and um, extra safety for all of us, we are gonna try something a little different. We have got a Zoom meeting set up with Tony Ballantyne of Magura Breaks USA. Welcome to the channel, Tony. You have been here before. We appreciate you coming back and even in distance. Thanks for having me back. Even though I live two miles from BTI, this is the way we have to do it now. That's right. We do appreciate it. And uh, maybe we'll see each other out on the trails, but uh, you know, for keeping everything inside and shoot videos, it's great to have it all uh, remote. So we appreciate it. Let's get into it, man. We've got some brand new breaks from Magura on the shelf. What are we talking about today? We have uh, we have three breaks that I want to talk about, and they're kind of they're kind of brand new. They're kind of just renditions of some breaks that we already have on the market. But we have uh, two breaks, two new breaks that we did specific for the U.S. market. And um, the first one you're holding up there is the MT7 HC3. That's right. Orange graphics. If you turn around the caliper, you can see the blingy neon orange graphics. Yeah, there we go. And so, uh, they look they look good. I just put a set on my bike with a Fox fork and they match the graphics perfectly. Awesome. So our MT7 in the US is one of the, is, is our best selling brake by far. Tons of power, great modulation. And the HC3 lever blade has rapidly become a really popular aftermarket item you can adjust the power, the leverage ratio, as well as the as well as your reach adjust. And you know, our customers wanted that blade on an MT7. So Yeah, so this is a really it is a really unique lever because there's actually a hinge right in the middle of the lever blade itself. So you're really changing the way that the contact on your finger feels, like the angle of the actual contact point, right? Yeah, so you, you can adjust the leverage ratio independently of the, the reach adjust and you can just get the lever blade dialed in just perfectly. And you can adjust the leverage ratio front and rear difference so you can back off the power in the rear if you want. Um, if you feel like your front brake's too grabby, you can dial the power off. And um, you can really, really dial that lever blade in so well. It has such a good feel. That's my favorite lever blade. It's on all of my brakes. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the new MT7 HC3, right now it's it's only available in the US market, but it was kind of our little baby and our customers wanted it. And uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the MT7, but it's well worth the price because that lever blade is sweet if, if it's what you want. Yeah, so that really seems like something just ultra unique. I haven't seen any other lever blade on the market that has that much adjustment range. Uh, and so talking about specifics, this brake retails for $299. And if you were to just get the lever blade alone, we're talking about $125 retail upgrade just for that blade. So yeah, okay, for the pair. So that's well, a I think so. pretty worthwhile, uh, pretty worthwhile uh, upgrade and a really cool high-end brake with all the bling factor and adjustments you might want, right? Yeah, and we changed the color. I don't know. It's orange. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. It's good. So, uh, and the other thing, the other thing that that brake differs in than the MT7 is it's a little. The features on the master are a little stripped down. For example, the MT7 has the bite adjust. That doesn't. The MT7 has a um, a reach adjust that you uh, a tool list reach adjust that doesn't. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's a little heavier than the standard MT7, but it's worth it. Right, because you're adding all those extra pivots and the lever blade itself is slightly heavier, Lever right? blade's a hair, it's a hair heavier, a little yeah. tiny bit, but it's sweet. Cool. I think most of us, yeah, I was just gonna say, most of us are riding a little heavier bikes. You'd rather have all the features, adjustment and performance instead of maybe a few grams here and there, so. Yeah, right. Excellent. Who would have ever thought that a 32 pound bike was light? <laughs> Uh, I haven't been on anything lighter for a lot of years, so I'm right with you there. <laughs> cool, so moving along to the next one, we've got the MT5HC. Yep, that's so, another one that was that was kind of a no-brainer for us to do for the US market. And um, 
The MT5 is an incredible brake for the money, tons and tons of power. Um, but again, we have that new one finger HC lever blade and our customers wanted it on a version of the MT5. So we still sell a lot of standard MT5s with the two finger lever blade. Right. We just wanted to offer an MT5 with the HC lever blade just so if people wanted that to begin with, they didn't have to upgrade later. Um, that's nice one finger blade. It feels great. I think it increases, you know, it makes, it makes a, it's kind of the next step up. You go MT5, MT5 HC. It's a little bit more expensive, but, uh, what we're finding is the longer lever blades seem to end up on more e-bikes because if you can get two fingers on the brake lever, you get a little bit more leverage, but for, you know, analog bikes where you braking with one finger is still more than enough. Yeah, that's really ideal. Yeah. We add some cool neon red rings to that brake just to spruce it up a little bit. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks like an excellent brake. And I've run the regular MT5s for, for quite a while. I could really see this being a nice upgrade. Um, or if you're buying a complete brake, have that HC lever already ready to go. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the one thing to consider is it's, it's a feel, it's a preference thing. Sure. If you're a two finger breaker, you want to go with our standard MT5. If you're a one finger breaker, you know, that's the brake for you. I think what we wanted to do with, with bringing in like a couple of new brakes, really like pre-existing brakes with different features is we just wanted to offer our customers more options and it's paid off because, you know, we're, they didn't cannibalize our brake sales from, you know, MT7 or eight, MT5. We're just, you know, they, they're just offered more options. So. And probably for the better of the consumer, you're not having to pay the extra for that, uh, you know, or buy a whole nother set of lever blades. You're just getting them right on the brake as you want it right off the bat. So this brake uh, retails at 169 and the HC one finger lever would be 59 uh, on its own at retail. Yeah. So All right. it's, just add more options. And like, cool. like you said, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's certainly not anywhere near as expensive as buying the brakes and then buying the lever blades. Yeah, perfect. Well, that thing looks great. And uh, I've been really happy with those brakes in the past. I think a lot of our customers would be as well. So moving on kind of down the line, you know, this has been an interesting time, sort of a, a golden age of bike repair. We have shortages of all kinds of um, bike repair parts out there in the industry. Um, let's talk about this MT30 brake. Now this thing is really inexpensive, $100 at retail. My God, it's flying off the shelves. Yeah, it works for either left or right hand. It works for front or rear. It's pre-bled. This seems like a brake that every shop could have on the shelf. When anybody walks in with a broken other brake or any issue that they might want to just do an upgrade or whatever, that you're getting a four piston strong brake for a really small amount of money. We wanted to have an incredibly powerful brake at a low price to so be used as upgrades on e-bikes. Um, a lot of e-bikes out there come stock with, you know, two piston brakes and that may not be powerful enough. Yeah. So it's nice to have an inexpensive alternative or, you know, upgrade for customers. Um, that brake, we can't believe how well it's doing. We're, we're selling a ton of them. And like you said, it's, it's uh, bike shops that can offer a, a nice upgrade or repair brake. The, the master, the master cylinder assembly, the lever, it's pretty, it's pretty basic, but it's all black. It looks good. It's got our injection molded composite lever blade. So it's, it's not alloy, but it still has a great feel. And, um, yeah, I mean, at 99 bucks, it still comes with our five-year leak proof guarantee. So it's a, it's a steal. Cool. And so you are getting that, uh, composite lever blade, but you're getting, uh, the same caliper as you are on many of your other high-end brakes, right? Yeah, we have one four piston caliper. Yeah. And um, as our brakes get more expensive, you get, you know, fancier brake pads and and whatnot. But yeah, we have, that's the one caliper we have. And so you're, you're getting the brake, you're getting the same caliper really that comes on the MT7. Um, but uh, you're just getting a super, super good deal. All right, Tony, thanks for joining us and running through all these new brakes. If something like this looks like it might fit well on your bike, 
Don't forget to ask at your local bike shop and tell them BTI sent you. Also, you can like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos in the future.